Hey there, welcome to Kitchen Counter Crafts. If you like this video, I hope that you will like, comment, subscribe, and share. And now let's get on with this video. Today I have for you the Sailor Compass Pen. It's 1911 steel fountain pen. And this one is in the transparent blue with the silver. And it is MF, I don't know why it says MF, but it is actually a fine nib. And so I'm pretty excited. Several people have asked me what do I write with, and I love fountain pens. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of reviews of the fountain pens that I use. I use some for Bible journaling and for note taking and for grocery list writing. So in other words, they're pretty much my daily pen uses. And I'm very excited to unbox this for you today because I have not yet seen it. I did cut off the top of this here, uh, or the bottom I should say, so I could get it out and not fiddle with it too much. So it comes in a plastic sleeve just like this, and it's transparent all the way through, including the pen cap. It is a classic cigar shape, which is so nice. It's very nice for writing as well, and it's supposed to be the affordable, part of the Sailor 1911 line. So the pen cap actually screws off. And the really great thing about this pen is this transparent nib. So when we fill this up with the ink, you're gonna be able to see the ink register all the way through the nib. And that's supposed to be pretty cool. I'm, I'm excited about seeing this. And so affordable means that you can get a very, very nice writing instrument for less than $50. People are usually scared of fountain pens. And so I want to be able to present some of these to you just to see how beautiful they are, how you can write with them. I just love, I don't know, I love all things old. I grew up using fountain pens in Pakistan and in my public school, we used to write with them. So for me, this is just kind of a, a normal thing and I, I've been using fountain pens for a very long time, but now I get a chance to kind of experiment because I think they're making a resurgence. So uh, the whole body is made of resin and this pen in particular has a converter and I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. So the pen cap, you, you can post it, that's called posting on the back of the pen and uh, it will help to elongate it and also counterbalance. But because I have little hands, I don't usually post my caps because it makes them even longer for me to write with. So that's just a personal preference for you. And I'm gonna continue on um, talking about this a little bit. So there are two options on how to uh, put ink in your pen. You're gonna have to ink these guys because that's just how this works. And the beautiful part is you can pick whatever kind of inks you want. This Sailor 1911 Compass comes with its own uh, cartridges, two of them in this package. You can see one and a two. And then it has a converter, and I'm gonna show you how to draw ink from that. And then in the box, it has the Sailor writing instruments, instruction, warranty, and then directions of just even how to fill up your fountain pen, a limited warranty, just, you know, odds and ends, uh, I guess of what kind of cartridges you might find in there as well. So that's where you can jot down when you got it, where you got it. And I just kind of keep that in the box. I don't even use cartridges unless I'm traveling and I can't carry my ink with me, although I take my ink, so, you know. Now, uh, for TSA, you might wanna put it in a little bottle because you're gonna get stopped and they're gonna take your ink and that's enough to make anyone cry. So the, uh, the converter comes like this and it has some instructions on the back. It basically are three-step instructions, two-step actually, and it says twist the knob, dip the ink, and fill it up. So you're gonna see it's really not rocket science to do this. Uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna twist this open. And again, your converter matches your pen. It's so cool. I love that about this as well. 
and it has like a capillary action feed. Let me get back into frame. Okay, and this just opens up like this. And how to, how to, there we go. Get this out. You draw that out and take this thing out. I just pop, I just, I don't know why. I just put everything back into the box. So my stuff is all together. A lot of times you're trying to figure out like, um, I don't know what you did with it, you know, in other words. Okay, so all you're going to do now is you're going to, uh, I actually twist this all the way down. So can you see that? So I twist it down because you're going to want to draw up the ink. So I kind of bring that down and then use your ink. This is my very cool um, Diamine 1864 blue black ink and this is the super cool looking bottle so now to ink this you're going to just attach the nib to the converter and I'm going to actually zoom in here a little bit and you're going to put this inside so that your ink can come up so you are going to um, what I like to do, as I mentioned before, my converter is pushed all the way down. And now you are going to be able to see, if I can get this here. So you can see the little springs in there, I hope. And then I'm going to now just twist this until the ink gets drawn up into the converter. I don't know why it's not going, but if it's not really pulling it up very well, you can, oh, my, my nib may not be all the way down. It doesn't have to actually be all the way down in your ink. I just can't see with my camera angle where I'm at. You can kind of take your time and pull the ink up. And it's very good to have a um, paper towel handy. So you just pull that out and your ink is already in there. And then just wipe off the excess and your fingers are going to be kind of inky looking. I don't mind that, it goes away. And then you're gonna see that your that the ink has come through onto the pen into the nib, I should say. Okay, and then if you just want to make sure that that's pulled up, and then you gently put that into your pen, and you can even see the ink up on the top. I just wipe all of that off while I'm getting that in there. That's, again, why you need a paper towel handy. Even though I have a paper towel, my, my hands are kind of inky. Again, I don't mind it so much. So you can tell, I don't know if I showed you this nib yet, but the top of the nib is, is quite lovely. It's got the sailor mark on it. And then now it's nice and inked. So let me show you, oh yes. Okay, make sure that the next thing you do is you put the lid back on because what you want to do is not spill all of this because it's going to be a big mess and I am going to now uh, just write a lot of um, a lot of people have said that there is some feedback from this sailor compass, but I don't I don't find that to be true at all. So I'm gonna just stop talking for a second and make it quiet so that you can hear if see if you can hear the feedback from the ink at all. I mean the nib at all. So I hardly hear any scratching. I mean, it's just a little bit. Um, just makes me want to write in cursive. So, I mean, a little tiny amount, but it's not scratchy or annoying like a lot of people say it is. 
I just think it's that beautiful writing pen. Um, and so this is about the same size as a Pilot Metropolitan, which I just put away. So in my next video, I'll do a comparison between this and the Metropolitan just to show you. And I put it away in my Bible bag, so I don't have it. But maybe I can take a picture of it a little bit later and upload that to the Facebook page so you can see. This is an Eco Twisby, which is my new favorite to write with and to leave it laying around my kitchen counter. And uh, this one has the, it's called a 1.1 stub nib, and that is more of a calligraphy nib. So it has a definite difference, but same blue black ink for now until I get a couple of these loaded with something a little bit different. But like I said, love the blue black because I'm afraid of commitment. I can't decide if I want blue or black. So I just pretty much decide on one. So I hope that you found this video useful. And until next time, bye.